Okay, I'm going to show you how to um, annotate a uh, storm hydrograph, which is basically a hydrograph which you've already done about, but it is for a storm event. So it's for, for an intense um, amount of rainfall over a short period of, of time. Um, so after you put the title of storm hydrograph, we're going to annotate some of the key things. As you can see on the left axis, um, it's talking about rainfall in millimetres, and that refers to these bar charts down here. Um, this is the amount of rainfall that has happened over a period of, of hours. And as you can see, after six to eight hours, that is where we have got the, uh, the most amount. So that um, bar there, that is what we call uh, peak rainfall. And I'd like you to annotate that, please. Um, so we've got peak rainfall. That is where the, the, the most amount of precipitation um, is happening. Um, um, and therefore, up here, uh, we, where this blue line is going up and down, that is the discharge with the volume of the water in the river. And so up here, that is what we call the peak discharge. So you should have those two... Um, annotations on there like that this this gap between the peak rainfall and the peak discharge um, that is something that we um that we call the lag time so it's the amount of time it takes from it to, to be raining the most until we get that reflected in the river by the the amount of volume so if we go up here and we go from there to there this area here is called the lag time. So in this area here, uh, this is where the discharge of the river is rapidly increasing. This is a really important part of, of the hydrograph and it's called the ascending limb. So this is where the, the discharge of the river is rapidly increasing uh, and we can have a look at that. That will vary uh, um, depending on the conditions around it. So it could, could depend on the amount of precipitation um, in the area. It could depend on the, the land use of the area. Uh, it could depend on various factors which will alter how steep this is. So if it's very, very steep, then the, the factors are probably very, very favourable. And I'm going to come back to that in a second. But if the conditions are more naturalized, then, then this won't be as steep. Um, equally, on the other side, this is called the descending limb. And the rate at which this descend will again be affected by um, those conditions in the localized area. So I just talked about what might affect um, the conditions for this, how steep this ascending limb was. Um, that could be a, a various factors. If it was very steep, this could be the fact that the, the, what it essentially means is the water is getting to the river very, very quickly. That means that discharge is getting rapidly higher. The volume of the water is going to be. This could be the fact that there is kind of as an urban environment this means the fact we have lots of impermeable surfaces so the water doesn't sink into the ground but instead it goes straight to the the river so you've got lots of concrete that would um, cause this ascending limb to be very very steep if there was um, a lack of vegetation so if there was deforestation in the area or there was basically just no vegetation we would then also get a similar set of conditions where there's no interception from, from the leaves and therefore it's hitting the ground, lots of surface runoff, and it's going straight into, into the river. If the, um, the basin, uh, the drainage basin, was a small, that means that the water doesn't have so far to travel and therefore it's getting to the river very, very quickly and therefore we're getting this peak and discharge. There are other factors, but these are kind of very obvious factors that might cause certain conditions to lead to it, a high ascending, um, a steep ascending limb. 
Equally, it works if, if you've got um, conditions that are not steep. So if it's a shallow ascending limb, then it could be because there's lots of vegetation. So that means there's lots of trees to intercept the water, which means it goes slowly um, down and there's less surface runoff. So we, therefore we get less discharge. If it's um, not got much uh, urban areas, not very impermeable surfaces, you can therefore get conditions which mean that it would soak into the ground and therefore we get the, the water coming into the river as groundwater or, or um, free flow rather than a surface runoff. It's when it's become surface runoff and it goes over the, um, the ground very quickly is when we get those peak discharges and that high ascending limb. You also might want to think about conditions like how the bedrock would affect it. And, and, and what about the amount of rain? So if there's lots of rain, how is that going to affect the ascending limb? I'm going to send you a series of hydrographs with different shapes on them, different um, uh, discharge levels. And I want to see if you can work out what conditions caused these storm hydrographs to look the way they are.